Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I am going to show you my top 5 basic press break basketball plays that you can use with your basketball team. So hello everyone, welcome to my channel. On this channel I show you basketball plays, drills and skills obviously if you're new and my name is Alan. So today I'm going to be showing you my top five simple basketball press break plays. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. Okay, so first in this press break play, we're going to have these two players on the elbows, one player at the three point line, and then we are going to have our five man way down on the other end of the court. What we are now going to have is these players going to the corners and player one cutting up the middle towards that net. He's going to receive the ball. He is the option to receive the ball. And at this time, we are going to have players 4 and 2 cutting up towards center court. And one of those two players are going to be open. You're going to hit one of those two players with a pass. Once they get that ball, basically what's going to happen is he is going to continue on to half court if he has the space to do so. If not, if he has a man cutting him off, he needs to look at player 2 because player 2 is going to continue through, and that could be a pass. Depending on which way this ball is going, if player 4 is dribbling it this way, then player 5 has to cut up to the middle of the court. He may be an option on top. And then the other option is if the ball is coming this way, what we would have is now player 5 going to this elbow, maybe even the 3 point line so that he may be an option to pass the ball as well, wait for everyone to get down the court, and then you can set up your offense. Now what we are going to have in this play is we are going to have player one cutting across the key and out to this sideline. He is going to receive the ball, and player three is going to run inbounds. This is going to be a quick reverse over to player three. Player three is going to take a dribble or two up, Player 4 is then going to cut down the key, or the, I mean not the key, the court. He is going to receive the ball around half court. And what's going to happen now is player 5 is going to pop up. He may have been an option as well for the pass 2. So depending on if the ball got passed there or there, it doesn't matter. Either way, either player 4 gets the ball, and player 4 can pass the player 5 afterwards, or he could, she could or he or she could pass the player two as well and this is just going to be a give and go so it doesn't matter what side it goes to it'll be a give and go for player four and hopefully for a layup if not then they can set up the offense but at least this might give you an option for a quick basket off of a press now in this next press break we are going to have player four screening for player two and then player one is going to cut over to this side. Now, either one of those two players are open. What we are hoping for, it doesn't matter, either a bounce pass to player two or a bounce or chest pass to player one. Let's just say player one, as that would be the number one option. Player four is going to be cutting up the court. Player five is going to be cutting over to this side of the court. And basically what we're looking for is either a lob pass or a, a really strong chest pass over to player five or we could have player four cutting up the court player one passes to four player four passes to three or not the three the five and then he can set up the offense or wait until player one gets down there and then we can have an offense going so first in this next basketball inbounds or not inbounds the press break i mean i am making a lot of mistakes in this video Player 1 is going to run towards the baseline where player 3 will inbounds the ball to him. Next, player 3 is going to run inbounds. Player 2 is then going to be cutting towards player 5. And he may be open for a pass as well as player 3. Now if player 2 gets the pass, at the same time player 5 is going to be cutting towards the middle of the court. He's going to be making a straight line drive across. He, of course, might be open as well. If player 2 receives the pass, that could be a quick pass to player 5. That would be the option for player 2. So if player 2 gets it, 3 is going to continue down. He may be on option, or player 5 could be the option. If player 3, however, gets the ball, we're going to have player 4 cutting towards the middle of the court. Player 5 is going to continue through. 
player three is going to pass to player four, and player two is going to be cutting across the same direction as player five went, and that would be the next option. Now, in our fifth and final, and in my opinion, the best, well, maybe not the best, I would say the most used inbounds or press break is this one. Basically, player one is going to run towards the inbounder, and he's going to receive the pass. At this time, player three is going to run inbounds. He may be open for a pass. Player two may be open for a pass. And player four, cutting down to the middle of the court, may be open for a pass as well. Now, if player three gets it, he needs to pass it to player four. Player four might be cutting back out this way, or player two could be filling in that spot as well. However, what we want is player four. He is the number one option to get it. Once he gets that ball, we're going to have player three cutting up this side of the court. Remember, staying away from the sideline inside of the volleyball court. And he's going to be cutting up and across. He can get receive the pass here. If he does then what we want is player 2 to be cutting over and across or player 5 to be cutting up towards the top of the key for the pass and then set up the offense. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed these 5 press break basketball plays. They are fairly simple, so if you run a younger basketball team, these might be really good options for you. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed today. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. I post new videos every single day. So if you like that stuff, hit the like button and subscribe. Yeah, anyways, have a good one. Hey guys, so here I am on the set with hockey coach Ethan. This is my cousin. So basically they're starting a brand new channel for hockey coaches and players or for anybody who just likes hockey in general. So uh, this is this is my cousin. Do you have anything yes, to say? I am. Um, you know, it's a brand new channel and I'm going to be sharing my knowledge of the game. And uh, if you like hockey, hit subscribe. I'm going to teach you some stuff that I know and I've been playing hockey like my whole life. So Yeah, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe or maybe over here depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.